So here you can see that I already have a table with a bunch of data. So let's say I want to adjust out the table and maybe add in a row and a column as well. So over here, I feel that the serial number is taking up a large chunk of space. So what I can simply do is go over here and you can see that there is an icon that pops up, which is in the form of an arrow. So if I were to click and drag this, you can see that I can resize this just like that. And I can go over here, click and drag this out and resize that out as well. Now, as I drag in, you can see that the end column actually gets dragged in as well. It gets pushed and pulled just like that. But if I were to hold shift and uh, click and drag it, you can see that only the line over here changes out. So if I were um, to not hold shift, what happens is that everything gets pushed forward just like this. But if I were to hold shift, I can simply drag around the lines just like this. And that is how it works like. So that is one of the adjustment feature. You can also click and drag it just like this, as you can see. So you can drag out the column just like that as well, column and rows, and readjust the size. So the other option that you might want to have is like hold shift and click and drag, and it adjusts everything as you can see. So if I were to hold shift and drag the corner, everything adjusts the overall entire table, adjusts itself um, equally just like that. So that is another option that you have. Then one of the other option is that if you were to hold shift, you can see that entire table readjusts itself. But if I were to hold, let's say alt, what happens is that as I pull along, you, uh, you can add in more columns right over here. So if I were to pull along, you can see that you add in more rows just like that. To add in more rows, you can simply go over here onto the end and press tab key as well. And that's add in a new row as well. Another way to add in new row and column is by going on to the table menu. So I'm just going to go around, hold shift and resize this. I'm just going to resize it from the side as well so to create another space. Now, what I want to do is add in another column called discount. So in order to do that, what I can do is I can go to table right here and there's insert, insert option. So once you go to insert, there's row and column as an option. So I can go to column and then let's say I want to add in one column on to the right. So once I click on that and press OK, you can see that one column has been added and I can name it discount as I want to. I can go over here as well. I can go to table, insert, uh, and then I can do a row as well. And I can insert the row below, press OK, and there you go. A row has been added in. So that is how you can add in a row and a column. So you can simply insert a row and press OK and it adds in a row right beneath where the cursor is located. So you can also go over here. Let's say I want to add in a column right here. So I'm just going to go around to table, insert, and I'm going to go and write in column and add in right there. So that is how you can insert a row and a column. Similarly, you can go over here, select the row and a column by going on the top and that is how you select it. Then you go over to table you can delete the entire table or the column as you, as you selected so i'm just going to go around here go on to table go to delete and i can go around delete the row just like this so i'm just going to go around here again and delete the column just like that the shortcut for this is shift backspace and control backspace for the other one so i'm just going to select out all of these go to table and then i'm going to go around here on to delete and delete row just like this so I can just go around here hold shift again and resize that out and I have my data so those are the table adjustment options which are available inside of in copy and that's how you add in rows and columns as well so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe